Are you getting ready for field day and you're not quite sure how to get your message handling bonus points? Well, don't worry, we're going to go over that right now. Hey, what's happening in North Texas? Aaron Kilo 8 Alpha Mike Hotel here, your section traffic manager. This video, we're going to go over how you can earn your bonus points related to message handling as part of field day. Now, in order to do that, you're going to need to get ready uh, first by getting some radiograms so you can start filling them out. If you need a template to fill out, you can grab that on my webpage, Kilo 8 Alpha Mike Hotel. I'll have a link on the front page there for the next week as field day is coming up. So two ways you can earn points for message handling. And so to make sure we understand that fully, why don't we jump into the field day rules? Okay, so the first rule relates to sending the message to your section manager or section emergency coordinator. And for this video, we'll focus on sending it to our section manager here in North Texas. That's Steve Lott Smith, KG5VK. Now, you could send this to either your section manager or your section emergency coordinator, but you only get to count this once. So you don't get extra points if you send a message to both of them. So you only need to pick one and send to one of those. Uh, the message should include your club name and number of participants and field day location and things like that. But given uh, more of us are operating from home this year, uh, note the word should there rather than must. So if you can, you can include those details. But if you don't happen to have them, that's okay. Uh, you could just send a general message, happy field day, uh, some, some general greeting like that. Uh, message must use the radiogram format here or or, uh, you won't receive credit for this, but don't worry, we'll show you how to fill that out. And uh, this must go over the air, just like the other set that we'll talk about in a second. Messages must go over the air. So if you're using WinLink, uh, no Telnet for this has to go over the air. Now, the second rule relates to general message handling. This gives you 10 points for each uh, message, up to 100 points, so 10 messages. This is separate from the rules you get from sending a message to the section manager or section emergency coordinator. So you can do both of these. First, send one to the section manager or section emergency coordinator, and then send these additional 10 to earn the extra 100 points for a total of 200. Now, uh, just like with the other one, make sure you keep copies of everything because you're going to need to turn this in when you submit your field day results. And um, these messages could generally go to anybody. It could be another amateur radio operator. It could be a family member, a friend. Um, so you're not restricted to just sending these to other amateur radio operators. But ideally, wherever you send these to, be someone that you know so that they understand that they're about to receive these from you. Okay, so now that we understand the rules, it's time to start filling out our radiograms to get ready for field day. We'll start with setting up one for our section manager, and then we'll go over how you can use that as you put together your other traffic for your other 10 stations to get your extra 100 points there. Okay, so here we have our radiogram, and I'm not going to go through everything in great detail. If you'd like the full details on this, uh, try and catch one of my online training sessions related to traffic handling. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to give you the crash course so that you can earn your field day points. Uh, we'll start at the top along here where this is called the header, and uh, on the first box is the number. Each radiogram has a uh, unique number, and uh, if you are starting out with your first one, then I would just call it 1, and then on your next one, 2, and 3, and so on. So for this one, we'll call it 1, and then the next field is precedence, and that's how urgent or important this is, like emergency or priority. For field day traffic, everything will be routine traffic, so I'm going to write R for routine. We say that as routine uh, when we say it on the air, but uh, we'll just call it R there uh, to uh, save the, the handwriting. Station of origin is U. Uh, so for me, I'm going to put my call sign here. You'd put your call sign there. Notice how I skipped HX, which is handling instruction. That's optional. It relates to how the traffic moves through the traffic system and how it's delivered. So you can leave that blank. Check is a count of how many words are in this message area. And for my example, I'm going to have 10. So I'm going to put one zero here. And uh, when we get to filling in the message, I'll point out how that relates back to the check. Place of origin is where you're at when you're sending this. And so for me, that's Dallas. So I'm going to put Dallas, Texas, TX. Time filed is optional, so I would not fill that in. And then for the date, uh, put the current date for field day. For today, it's June 19th, so that's what I'll put here for this example. June 1-9. Uh, but again, make sure you use the correct date for that on uh, field day when you're doing this. 
Two is next, and that's where this is headed. For this example, I'm going to use Steve Lott Smith, our section manager here in North Texas, as the example. But when you fill out your other ones and that type of thing, then you'll put the correct address and phone number information for them. So for this one, going to Steve Lott Smith, that's exactly what I'm going to write. Two, Steve Lott Smith, and then his amateur call sign, Kilo Golf 5 Victor Kilo, and his address, 125 Contest. Lane, and that's in Ben Franklin, Texas, zip figure 75415, and then phone number 318-470-9806. Very important to include the phone number, uh, whether it's for this one for Steve or wherever you're sending them to, because we need the phone number in order to make the final delivery. So if you leave the phone number out, uh, we're very likely not going to be able to deliver it because um, it would have to go in the mail. And generally, we don't expect stations to spend any of their personal funds to deliver these. So please include a phone number on all of your radiogram traffic. So now that we have that first part filled in, we can go on with the, with the message. And for this example, I'm going to use greetings on field day. Hope you are having fun, 73. So let's go ahead and fill that in. We have our blanks here, and we just put one word in each blank. So greetings on field day. Now, we don't need to put any punctuation here. Uh, if you wanted to put a period in here, that is written as the letter X, which we say as initial X-ray, or the word X-ray. But uh, we don't need to do that because it's pretty clear for what I have here. So, hope you are having fun, 73. Now, again, if we needed some clarity, I could have put x-ray before the rest of that. But, again, it's pretty clear that that's the end of the sentence there. Now, these are uh, 10 words in here. So, 5 on each line, we have 10. And that's why the check is 10. Now, we can go ahead and sign this. And it actually goes in this really narrow space in between all these blanks for the message and then this tracking information, which I'll cover in a second. So, I'll go ahead and sign this. Aaron, and my call sign, Kilo 8 Alpha Mike Hotel. All right, so we have our radiograms ready to go. Now, how do we move them so we can earn our points? Well, there's two ways you could do that. First, you can find a traffic net and move it over the air that way, or you could use WinLink and move that traffic over the air with WinLink. Now, very important with WinLink, it does support Telnet or going over the internet, and that does not qualify for points for field day. This traffic has to move over the air. So first, we'll talk about how you you read this over the air, and then we'll jump in how to get it into WinLink so you can move it over the air that way. If I were doing this on a voice-based traffic net, such as the DFW Metroplex traffic net, here is how I would read this when they say I can go ahead and, and start uh, giving my traffic. I would say, please copy my number one routine, Kilo 8 Alpha Mike Hotel, 10 Dallas Texas, June, one niner, going to Steve, Lot, Smith, amateur call, Kilo Golf, five, Victor Kilo, address figures, one, two, five, contest, lane, Ben Franklin, Texas, zip figures 75415, phone figures 318-470-9806. Break. Now, break is when we would let up on the, on the push to talk button and give the other station a chance to ask for repeats or spellings or anything like that. Uh, if they don't need anything like that or once they have everything they need, they'll tell you to go or go ahead or go text. And that's when you would start giving the, the message part uh, below there. 
Notice how slowly I went through everything when I read it. This is to allow the other station uh, time to be able to write everything down. So if you speak too fast, then the other station is going to lose you, and they'll have to ask you to repeat a bunch of things. So we ask that you go slower than what you would comfortably uh, normally do, but that allows time for the other station to physically write everything down. So continuing, once that other station says go or go ahead or go text, greetings on field day hope you are having fun figures seven three break now again we're we're stopping we're letting up on the push the talk button to give that other station an opportunity to say i need you to spell field or please say the word after field or anything that they need to help fill in any gaps or spellings or anything like that once they're ready to continue to the signature they'll say go or go ahead or go signature in which you'd say signed aaron amateur call kilo eight alpha mike hotel and of number one, so whatever message number it is, N number one, no more or eight more or however many more radiograms you've been told to move. But in this case, we'll, we'll act like I only have this one. So I'll say N number one, no more, how copy. And then by asking how copy, you're giving that other station an opportunity to say, yes, I have everything. I roger your number one. And they might say, go next if you have additionals. Or they'll say, thank you much for the traffic. And then you'll go ahead and uh, ID with your call sign and turn it back to net control. Uh, if you are confused or anything during the traffic net, uh, there's uh, no worries there. Uh, just uh, ask the net control station for help or things, and, and we'll be able to help you out there. Now, when you do move this, it's a good idea to track who you sent it to as part of its journey through the traffic system. So let's say, in this case, I gave it to John, KF5IOU. I would put his call sign here, kf 5 IOU, the date, and let's say that I moved it today, so June 1 9, and then the time. Now, uh, you want to make sure you track this either with a 24 hour format or use AM or PM, and that's important, and to also indicate the time zone if you're not going to use universal time. Uh, the traffic system is based on universal time, but if you want to just use local time, let's say I moved this 10 minutes from now, so that'd be 1840 or 640 p.m., and I can put it just like that, 640 p.m. Central Daylight Time. So if you're not going to use universal time, that's cool. Just make sure you note the time zone uh, when you're filling that part in. All right, so let's discuss how to move these over WinLink. Now, I have WinLink open here. Uh, how to set up WinLink and those types of things are out of scope for this video. Uh, but for those of you that have WinLink installed and you already have your sound modem or uh, Pactor modem or however you are connecting to your other WinLink uh, station when you move things, if you've got that all set up, then this is an option for you. Uh, you go in and create a new message, just like you would any other thing. And then you're going to select the radiogram template. So you'll go into standard templates and then look for the radiogram section and pick this radiogram template here. Now that's going to open your web browser and this will have, as it'll look familiar, uh, the radiogram template but here in the browser. And so here you would put the number, uh, routine, just like for anything, a handling instruction if you want it, uh, the station of origin should be you, and uh, the check will get filled in automatically so no need to worry there. Place of origin of course should be what you've got on the radiogram and then uh, if we scroll over to the side, it'll have the date here for you already, so no need to worry about that. Two is exactly how you have it on the radiogram. So Steve Lott Smith, uh, call sign KG5VK, address 125 Contest Lane, Ben Franklin, Texas, and then zip 75415. Uh, no need to fill in the country, but the phone, very important, 318 four seven zero nine eight zero six and no need to fill in the email message greetings on field day again this can be however you want it uh, hope you are having fun seven three 
Now, I tabbed out of there, and it puts these in the groups of five, just like you have them on, on the radiogram uh, form itself. Check is 10. It's already figured that out for us, and it's filled it in right up here. Signature would be you. And then at this point, you're going to click here where it says to select a liaison station. And what you're doing when you do this is you are telling WinLink that you want to enter this uh, traffic, this radiogram, into the traffic system. And it's going to ask you what area you're sending it to. And this helps WinLink route it to the proper area. So in this case, Steve Lott Smith is in Texas, which is in Region 5. So I'm going to select Region 5 here. Now, if they were in, uh, let's say, West Virginia, for example, you'd pick Region 8 and you know so on. Uh, once you've picked the proper region, then go ahead and hit close to close the window and then you're going to hit submit now once you do this the browser is going to update the message in winlink you'll get this blank page you're all set here you can minimize this and now you will see the complete radiogram formatted into winlink to be able to move over winlink and the two and cc and subject are filled in for you very important that you do not change any of this. All of this is used to properly route your radiogram through the traffic system uh, once you send it in with WinLink. So once this is all in here, it's just like any other WinLink message. You'll post it to the outbox and then you'll move it uh, over the air like you would any other session, uh, WinLink session, of course, other than Telnet because it has to move over the air in order to get the points. If you move it over the internet, uh, you will not be able to claim the points. Well, there you go. That's how you can move your traffic for field day to earn your bonus points. If you have any questions on any of this, feel free to reach out to me. My email address, kilo 8 alpha Mike Hotel at arrl.net. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this, please click the like and subscribe buttons. Again, Aaron, Kilo 8 Alpha Mike Hotel here, your section traffic manager for ARL North Texas. Have a fun field day, everybody. We'll catch you later. 73.